It's been a couple of hours. I'm sure the Twitter mob has calmed down a bit. Ow! What's going on? I got canceled. Sorry to hear it. Poop! If only I had any right to be outraged. But alas, I'm being silenced by a private organization and not the government. Bob, you know you're still allowed to be outraged when a private company infringes upon your ability to speak, right? Oh! This comes as a surprise to some, but a whimsical mob of performatively outraged art students pressuring tech monopolies to silence people isn't the best way to set boundaries for our political discourse. And just because it's not the government doing it, doesn't mean we have to be okay with it. But don't our sweet, innocent tech overlords have a right to determine what kind of speech is allowed on their platform? Of course they do, and it's not always bad to have some types of restriction. For example, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook don't allow privacy violations, pornography, excessive gore, or open calls to violence on their platforms. But these are reasonable standards we all agree to when we began using social media. They aren't the same thing as their more recently imposed and arbitrary restrictions which selectively apply to specific political factions resulting in a grave stultification of our ability to engage in discourse. I hear what you're saying, but if I owned one of these platforms, I wouldn't want people using it to spread mistruths. Can you blame them for not feeling the same way? Well, when they've censored information that we later found out to be true, or at least plausible, as was the case with the lab leak theory, you would imagine they'd show a bit more humility in the aftermath than admit they aren't perfect arbiters of truth. But it seems as if they've only doubled down. Those aren't the actions of humble pursuers of truth, but of people trying to create a narrative. Fair enough, but there's so much misinformation online. Who can we trust to tell us what's true? Now that's a good question. But unless you think the answer is Mark Zuckerberg, Jack Dorsey, or Susan Wojcicki, you need to be every bit as outraged about tech censorship as you are when the government does it. Hey, it's me, the informative paper cutout man. If you enjoyed this cartoon, check out fee.org for more informative stuff. You'll enjoy it. Uh, and I love you.